What's up ninjas? Today we're going to be doing a little install video on the Lobos Industries low profile red dot mount for the Ruger Mark series pistols. So I'm pretty sure these will fit on not just the Mark IV as long as it has the screws up top here. As you can see I already removed them. But yeah they make these for a bunch of different optics cuts. I chose the 507k because I have a 507k but it's on warranty right now. So I did buy another Hollow Sun. I'm still waiting on my 507K to get back from warranty, but I wanted to put a red dot on the SIG and then I ended up getting the mount for this. So I'm gonna put the 6MOA dot. This is actually the green one, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna put the 6MOA dot on the SIG and then once I actually get the 507K back, I'll put it on this. But just for video purposes today, I will go ahead and throw this on the Ruger just so we can see how it looks because the 507K and 407K are essentially the same thing. So we do have some instructions. You get two sets of screws. One are for the actual optic, and then the other two smaller ones are for mounting it to the gun. So you have your torque specs here. Pretty easy to read instructions. And then they also recommend you use either Vibratite VC3 or Loctite 242. So it should be a pretty simple install. I'm going to go ahead and get this on. I'm probably not going to show me putting it on on YouTube just because I don't want them to take my money away. So easy little install, two screws, and we're good to go. All right, so I just got the plate installed, just 10 inch pounds with some blue Loctite on these threads. Definitely looks pretty cool. You want to make sure your little locator tabs are facing forward. And now we can go ahead and get the optic installed. Another thing I highly recommend is the Fix-It Sticks little Torx screwdrivers. So I got this set from Midway. It was like $109 on sale. It came with all these bits and the big torque driver. And I actually had to buy the smaller one separate. But this just helps you get accurate torque. As you can see, you just turn it. This one calls for seven inch pounds on these optic screws. So you just turn till it's at about seven. And then same with this one. I already torqued them down, just kind of demoing this. But same thing for the mount. This one called for 10 inch pounds, which it feels like it came loose on me. But anyway, 10. And then we'll go 10 on this one, just to double check. Good. Yeah, it does feel like it came loose on me. But anyway, we have the Ruger Mark IV with the Hollow Sun 407K. Just for now, I'm actually just going to pull this off immediately after the video and throw it on the SIG. But yeah, I do want the 2 MOA dot on the 22, and then the little concealed carry pistol can get the 6 MOA dot. So it's pretty nice. Easy to aim. Uh, you're not going to be able to co-witness unless you get like some extended height sights, but not really a huge deal for me. Pretty cool looking. Let me know what you guys think about this thing. Would you get one of these on your Ruger? Or would you just rather have like a Picatinny mount or something like that? Let me know what you guys think about the whole setup, and we'll see you guys in the next one.